Yo, what's up guys? So I was just playing some twos of gear for a little bit. Decided why not? Let's record some for a video. So I'm gonna be playing some twos with uh, G-Man for today. Should be a good time. Let's get into it. It's gonna be sweaty for sure because he plays a lot of twos. Pretty high rank. So gonna be good games every time. Let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. Alright, first game we got Samba and Luby. Well, Sierra players, pretty sure. You expect them to be solid. And twos is always a uh, twos is always random. It's always a sweat fest, regardless of who you're playing. Obviously, they're not top top players, but it's not hard to put up a fight. And I'm sure they will. It's a really good shot. Then you get a free air dribble off that. It's all about how you challenge things in twos. It's going to the corner, so you really don't need to panic. All right, it's a big name of the game in Rocket League. Don't panic as much as you possibly can. Garrett kind of, kind of trolled. <laughs> He's kind of trolled, but it's fine. Like. There's absolutely nothing they could do to score. So there's no reason to panic again, right? He used all his boost, full speed, kind of gave him the ball, but that's fine. It's probably not too focused, but that's a perfect example of what I mean. What I was doing there would definitely not have gotten scored on. And all I was doing was like, just not panicking. I was just playing close to the ball. Right behind here, probably a shot. Good patience, good try. Yeah, majority of the time, I mean, most people playing twos are not, honestly, not focusing that much. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Let's try. Get behind here. That was good though. He forced a lot of pressure out of them. Nice. Um, but yeah, most people, most people when they're playing twos, they're not like super locked in. They're not super thinking about every decision they're making and that's why you'll see some pros like making weird mistakes obviously I'm, I'm probably much more focused than most are when I'm making these videos because I'm trying to think about what I'm doing for you guys I'm trying to create situations as well mid-game that you can learn from which is difficult when you're already playing good people um stuff like that there's one should be awkward for him Nice, good 50. Good job of him to uh, kind of just AFK there. Makes it really difficult. Nice shot from Garrett. But yeah, like, if you're in your corner, if they're urge dribbling to your corner and not toward your net, don't jump at it. There's no reason to jump at it. If there's no threat, also no reason to jump at it. So stuff like that. You really just want to look for situations where it's not really threatening and uh, try to take advantage of that being the case don't go don't dive at it don't throw yourself at it in ways that are gonna make it more difficult on yourself right make them have to work for the goal don't just give them the goal you give them the goal when you commit for things that are that are incorrect at a lower rank that's gonna be most of the goals that happen or are you going for things that are I'll say the higher rank, that's the majority of your goals now, because I think the defenses are so good that you really don't score solo plays all that much. So majority of the goals are off of just bad commits, but in lower ranks, you get so many free goals off just not committing in the wrong spots. It's good to challenge, it's good to show presence, but you gotta make sure that it's not um, hurting your team, right? So. Placement. Still half the game left. Very winnable game. I mean, it's twos. So anything's possible in twos. Similar to ones in that aspect. The round one there. Like to get pre-jumped it. Obviously, the solo plays a better choice there in terms of percentages to actually score that, but. Pre jump flick is cooler for sure. No question. You're gonna boom this away. I think it's gonna be a little. Uh, I'll force the flick. 
Then I'll go again. Pass it back. Then go for a double, but he's already back wall, so it's fine. Gets up the wall, just leave it. Again, look what he has to do to score that, right? That one touch I made there forced out a lot of boost on him. Again, I don't commit. Forced out two of them to go. And uh, basically get a good opportunity out of that. All I did was drive up. It's a good bump. Good fake. Try to beat him. I hear him up behind me. Really big win there. Hey, bump by this guy. Nice good challenge. Should be one on for a while here. I just decided to yellow it for the third corner. I did not see what was happening. Got flashbang by the smoke. Thought it was in. But then the smoke cleared and it was not in. I think they might have thought it was in too, because they didn't jump at it. I thought they would have a better view of it if it wasn't in, so I went quicker. But I had actually time. That's like another good example. Even though that's such a sketch situation, and it should probably just straight up be a goal, I played it more passive, more patient. So you're just a easy save. Put the mid pass out of the shot. Might be a goal, actually. Challenge. They, they played that pretty well actually to, to try to fake that because it's blocking most of the angles there. The bolt. Gotta bump again. Mid pass. Trying to beat him. Don't have a shot. I'm gonna fake the touch here. For ground, turn again. Mid pass. What was gonna happen. Garrett was there. Pretty sure. Would have been good, but yeah. Good first. Game there, let's get into the next one, see if we can keep it up. Get back fake dubs. See how it goes. Alright, the last game we got Mint and Taha. Pretty sure Garrett currently is top 50 or top 40 right now, too, so. These guys must all be top 100. We're finding these games instantly. Obviously, the games are. Always going to be uh, tough at this rank, but uh, some reason I'm not running into like high up pros right now. It's really weird. And it's also like midday, so no one's queuing, I guess. So I played around this guy, challenged. That's kind of a, an example of what I, like what I was saying last game. I'm air dipping that to the corner really. The only reason why I kept going to the corner is because I heard him jump. Um, but they didn't need to go for that, to be honest. You should only go if you think you're like significantly helping your team. That's that's the way I I'd put it. I'm gonna take the mid boost that going for the ball. Like you're gonna take a free dribble here. Nice flip, they're all waiting. That's good of him to stay grounded. Nice, yeah, that's really well played. No one challenged, so their, their mistake there again, all comes from challenging, all comes from commitment, right? Everything at this rank, the highest rank, and I think you could take a lot of these things I'm saying into your lower ranks. I, I don't think it only applies to highest rank, but that's the thing that gets goals in the highest rank now, because everyone's basically the same in terms of uh, mechanical ability and stuff like that. Um, someone just needs to go for the teammate. They neither neither of them want to be the person that gets beat, but you need to get beat there to not get scored on. That's the problem. Everyone's kind of scared to get beat. They think it's wrong, but it's not wrong to get beat. It's actually the right thing to do in a lot of situations. And one of the only ways to avoid getting scored on in spots like that, like you have to dive at it. Like here, I'm just gonna go like, this is no real danger actually. I don't need to jump yet. And I get a free goal out of it, Never mind. Recovered well. Gonna hit this away probably. Try to block him. And I saved my boost. Big win from Garrett there. Right to the ground. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a little bit sketch. I shouldn't have done that, but still get back. Passing in twos like that is always a little bit sketchy. It's too easy to read. Only two players on the field. Not much to keep track of, right? Hard to lose track of where the second guy is and 
He's positioned in the middle, you can kind of expect what's coming. It should challenge. It's fine. Air dribble to the corner, I don't need to go. Right. You can kind of keep that as a rule to yourself. When you're um, trying to defend stuff. Anything that's going to your corner, you don't really need to go. It's completely safe. With some very, very rare exceptions that are um, kind of complicated to explain, but one that I would say is an exception to that rule is if they land on the corner and they have a teammate middle and they have full control on the corner, then you should definitely challenge. Because having the ball full control in the corner and a teammate middle is one of the most uh, dangerous positions to create a play. Defense, try to take this boost logo again. Sorry. Are <laughs> no, you good? Playing twos as it should be. Just full, full like solo plays over and over again. I know Garrett usually usually plays that way in twos as well, so I was just trying to follow the meta, but I'll, I'll go for some more passing plays, even though they're reading all of them. Alright, this one I should jump for it should be okay that's a good situation where one just needs to go right another good example really all twos is man picking the right things to challenge picking the right things to aggress we got the wall here i'm gonna turn one more time i wouldn't expect that Save from him. Patience, it's fine. Let's fall out. Should I play in a weird spot? He's not gonna get a good touch. He's gonna touch back toward us. It's a good play though. It's actually a really good play from him. Go for the bump there. I'm gonna go for the boost, but it's a good spawn. One v one now. Close. Yeah, we had most of the pressure. They didn't really have too many good opportunities this game, honestly. And uh, we challenged things pretty well. Might keep this up though. Be careful of this. Oh, it might be a goal. Oh my gosh, that was very sketch. Did not think he had another touch there. Should have definitely been a goal. But yeah, good games for today. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever's happening, watch this, like, comment, subscribe. I see you guys all next time. I love y'all.